We are creatures of pure energy, and meat is the element that keeps us here. I think about how meat was once part of a beautiful living creature that has then become an inanimate substance that we treat with little regard or awareness of what it once was. It was once alive. Recently, the Australian artist Flats has made the news when he dropped a dead cow from a helicopter in Berlin. I don't care much for this kind of shock art, but there was a very interesting part of the story. An animal loving teenager attempted to legally stop the performance. The court rejected the complaint because the cow had the legal status of food. That fascinates me. At what exact point does the animal cross the line and become meat? There is an obvious horror connected with the meat industry, the blood, the gore, the inhumane butchery. So many of us indirectly participate in this with our ravenous consumption of meat. In my own art, I am not personally making a statement or judgement about the meat consumption in our culture. I feel more like I am just observing it. I myself am a passionate meat eater. I feel that the consumption of animal flesh is a natural primal instinct, just like sleep and making paintings. But there is that paradox of knowing how that scrumptious porterhouse made it to my dinner plate. We have lost any kind of reverence for this. It would be interesting if people would have to kill an animal themselves before they earned the right to eat it. Seeing Jesus coming towards him, John said, Look, there is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Before Jesus, religion without the sacrifice of animals and birds was almost, if not completely unknown. Two thousand years later, apart from Hinduism and the sacrifice which is part of the Muslim pilgrimage to Mecca, it's animal sacrifice itself which is almost unknown. Christians have often treated the crucifix as a work of art. But go to the churches of Southern Europe, Spain, Italy, Sicily, Malta, and you come across crucifixes which are brutal in their realism, with Jesus hung up like a piece of meat, dripping blood from hands, feet, head and body, like a lamb brought to slaughter, like any animal, 
Jesus went to his death with his eyes wide open, accepting it willingly and gladly, offering it to God like everything else in his life, handing it over completely to him, giving up any claim on it, and so making it holy.